Hey, hey everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Vanessa of Lulu Lime Designs. Thank you for joining me. And I just, uh, those are my new fur babies that we rescued playing in the background. Let me see if I can get them to show them to you. Hang on. This is Starlight, and she's uh, just about four pounds. This is little Starlight, and then come here, Lulu. Come here, come here. I know. I I I interrupted your game, and this is this is Lulu. Say hello, Lulu. Hello. Say hello to everybody. So. Uh, they, uh, the rescue center, asked us to take both of them because they had always been together. We don't know if they were sisters or not. We don't think so. Um, I think this one, Lulu, is a little older than Starlight, but we're not sure. They're just settling in and uh, beginning to be not so afraid and to trust. And um, they're very, very, very special. Sorry, they're very, very special. And uh, Lulu is very, very naughty as well, um, which adds to her character and personality. So I came on today because I just ordered a special edition from Chic Sparrow uh, called The Secretary. And most of my um, journals are um, black in color now. Um, I ha I've had to do that, and I'll explain why in another vi video uh, where I show my black journals. But I'm just about to go to England, and um, I thought I, I absolutely love the sweet pea. And so this special edition uh, secretary I thought would be just the right size and just the thing to take to England with me and a contrast to I'm taking a black Midori traveler's notebook uh, standard size and passport and then I'm going to take this personal in sweet pea but I wanted to show you how I hacked it to make it exactly how I want it to be just to give you uh, an idea um, of, of, of perhaps you'd like to do it um, so here she is and I'm going to turn around the camera in a minute to um, show you in detail exactly what I did so just with just with the help of this and a watercolor brush and some new elastic uh, I'll turn the camera around now and show you exactly what I did Okay, so here we are. This is a Chic Sparrow Sweet Pea Mr. Dorsey in the limited edition secretary style. And this arrived a couple of days ago and it had white stitching all the way around and it had white elastics, uh, the elastics inside and white elastic, uh, the closure white elastic as well. And then all the the secretary has uh, two secretarial pockets either side, which is really nice, great for traveling and popping things in. And this secretary is just uh, a little shorter than their usual personal size. So it's a, a personal size but just a tiny bit shorter. If you can see, I think it's seven inches and the normal personal size is 7.5. So that's, that's, that's the difference there. This is a black, black beauty, the black beauty leather in the personal size, just a classic, uh, classic journal and um, it's, it's very nice and soft and, and floppy uh, and also quite a thick. It's a, it's a thicker leather. So that's the usual personal one. Now, I usually get the classics. 
I usually don't, I'm not that keen on uh, pockets because I always like my journals to have a very slim profile. I, I don't like bulky, I don't like bulky journals. Um, but uh, this was, you know, this, this was a special and I can, I can handle these two little secretarial pockets. And I don't, uh, unlike a lot of people, I actually don't like the white contrast stitching. I always like my stitching to be the same color as the leather. And so what I did with this is I got a craft mat. And of course I didn't have any inserts in it at the time. And I got my waterproof D. Artramentis document ink in fuchsia because it's 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 a good good match of the color. And what I do, and I, I do that I've done this for other um, Chic Sparrow journals. I have a, a a brown a permanent brown ink as well. And all I do is. I get a watercolor brush, a very, very fine one, and I dip it in the ink and I very, very carefully stain all the white stitching. And I usually have a piece of paper here so I can dab out any excess. Let me get a piece of paper, a piece of kitchen paper, and I just dab up any excess. Um, so you know, it's it's a, a precision thing, and one has to be very careful. And I know some people probably would be too scared to do this, but I want the notebook. Um, I don't want the white stitching for me. Um, so I like to do that. For me, I much prefer the look. So I did the whole outside, and then. I did all the white stitching on the inside as well. So that looks like that. Let's get this craft mat out of the way. Um, and then I changed all the elastics over. I have a roll of um, black elastic. I also have a roll of brown elastic because often uh, the elastic that comes with journals I don't particularly like. It's too thick or it's too tight. And yeah, so I always, I have um, two spools of elastic so I can do. So I restrung it, um, which is very easy to do. Uh, Chic Sparrow make their, their holes that the elastic goes in nice and big so it's really easy to thread them you don't need a needle or anything um, and uh, I re-thread those with the black elastic because I don't like the white elastic at all this is just personal preference and then this personal I put uh, B6 Slim inserts in because again I like my inserts I like them really close. Uh, I don't like having a lot of inserts because I like the slim profile, as I always tell you. And so I have now totally made this exactly how I want it for travel. And so I've got a little wallet in here for my cards. Uh, I haven't got anything in the sec secretarial pockets. I've got two inserts in here for notes. Remember, I've got other journals with me as well, but I wanted to take this um, for notes uh, for in case I need to make um, uh, notes, uh, medical notes and stuff like that for my mother uh, because I'm going to visit my mother and uh, uh, take care of her at the moment. So that is how I hacked my new personal secretary and I wanted to show you the difference also these are the um, personal notebooks um, so you can see the difference in size uh, and so 
these are what are designed to go in this notebook and uh, go in this notebook. This one looks like that. Um, and if you were to have this one in, you'll see if I had several of those notebooks in, it does give you room here to tuck in a pen or whatever, but I always have fountain pens and they're all, I have a case for them. So I don't usually really tuck in pens unless I have a front pocket design, um, then, I, then I tend to tuck them in. So those are what um, the personal size looks like. And this is a personal size dashboard. And then here are the inserts that I've chosen to have in here which are the B6 Slim. Um, and it's, they're such nice fit in here. Um, I actually prefer them to the personal size and it's making a beautiful notebook. And now I've got a notebook exactly how I want it. And isn't that what it's all about? Creating notebooks that uh, we absolutely love and uh, there are to our style and our size and exactly what we love. So just uh, an idea that um, you might be interested in and um, like I said you can do it on uh, you know most of the notebooks especially the brown ones and the black ones you know if you're like me and you don't particularly like contrast stitching I know some people love it and, and it's just a, a personal choice um, but um, I like I like to do this um, to my notebooks I like the stitching color to match the leather and so I hope this has been interesting thank you so much for spending time with me I will try and do some videos while I'm in England no promises and take care look after yourself love yourself wildly and I will see you soon. Ciao, ciao.